On countless battlefields across the far reaches of the galaxy lay the fallen and forgotten relics of bygone ages. Mortarion knows the machine spirit can be coaxed and cajoled, tempted and turned. He knows that even a fallen titan is only a whispered prayer to Father Nurgle away from striding the battlefields once again. The Astra Militarum, however, do not question or bother with such things. The Warlord Titan shall forever be remembered as the Emperor's finest, and kept from the foul taint of chaos. This is 40k in 40 minutes, Commander Tier Battle! Today, Nick and his Astra Militarum face off against Tycho and his Death Guard in what promises to be a real visual feast of a game. I brought the Imperial Guard today. I'm taking, of course, Born Soldiers because who doesn't like to auto wound on sixes? Nick has his Born Soldiers Militarum, Cadian Command Squad, a tank commander with a dozer blade, two squads of Cadian Shock Troops, and two squads of Death Corps Krieg. Some Bulgrins and Kazurkin, two Hellhounds, a Scout Sentinel, two Field Ordnance Bombast Guns, three Lehman Russes, and a Rogaldorn Battle Tank. That Rogaldorn can evaporate almost anything it chooses to look at. Nick will need it to take out Tycho's heavy threats for sure, should he hope to pull off the victory. For the Emperor! It's so weird to say that. I am so stoked to be able to play this awesome, narrative, uh, commander-inspired mission. Tycho brings a very familiar list to those of you following along at home. Mortarion and a Demon Prince lead a squad of Plague Marines and Poxwalkers, along with some Death Shroud Terminators and a lonely Chaos Spawn, but he has all the drones and crawlers he can muster. Two Fetid Bloat Drones, three Greater Blight Drones, and three Plague Burst Crawlers will provide a big part of his oomph. I get to fight over the remains of a Warlord Titan? I imagine I just brought him down, and now I get to pick over his corpse for parts. This mission comes to us from the mind of Commander Tier Patron Evan Snyder. He and Nick sat down and sorted the details of this mission revolving around, of all things, a downed Warlord Titan. There are five objective markers placed around the body of the downed Warlord Titan, and players will score five points for holding one objective, five points for holding two objectives, and five points for holding more objectives than their opponent to a maximum of 15 points per turn and 45 for the game. Any unit may attempt to perform an action at the end of its movement on an objective to secure that portion of the Titan. The action completes in the next command phase. If an objective secured unit performs the action, however, it will complete at the end of their turn. Each secured objective is worth 15 points to whoever claims it at the end of the game. An objective can only be secured by one side at a time, and a completed action switches ownership of that objective. So objectives could be swapped back and forth and be a real factor in this game. A giant Warlord Titan has fallen in the middle of the city, and both forces are rushing to claim it and salvage it, repair it, take it over, maybe rescue some pilots. Rescue the pilot? Rescue the pilot. I don't know, I think he's pretty dead. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in there He's cooked. not likely to survive in no, there. No, no. I think um, we can actually check. Hello? You okay oh yeah, there? he dead. Oh, that's too bad. So <laughs> let's close that back up then. To illustrate the kind of fog of war, we're doing something also very cool, a blind deployment. We're gonna put these barricades in front of the opponent's eyes and you can't see what I'm gonna be able to put down. It's gonna be kind of cool. But what it really does is force you to look at the map and try and deploy based upon your lines of attack rather than necessarily just how your opponent has deployed. All right, you ready for deployment? Yes. All right, um, it doesn't actually matter who deploys first. No, you just can just- deploy your whole army. Do it now. <laughs> As part of the custom scenario, players will deploy completely blind. Plus, they have to deploy at least 25% of their army in a special reserve that will not come in until turn three. They will arrive on these two squares. To be frank, it doesn't actually change how I deploy that much, but it's really interesting to see how I'm gonna need to respond over the game to an enemy that I wasn't able to see come down. I've deployed very aggressively here, up on the line, trying to make sure that I can get to objectives and claim them early to score some points because I'm gonna be losing a lot of models this game. That's just how it goes against Guard. Tycho has two fetid blow drones, as well as a greater blade drone and a plague burst crawler in his mandatory 25% reserve, so they can't come in until turn three. He has his death shroud in conventional deep strike reserve, and Tycho will start the game with four command points. My death shroud terminators are also in reserve, hopefully gonna give some Nick some things to think about as they try and sneak into his backfield. So I think I'm gonna go over the very conservative spread out deployment. My armored center, all the tanks in the center, it's kind of protected by the Warlord Titan, so he won't be able to see it first turn. Hopefully that means he won't be able to shoot those entropy cannons at it that are so devastating. 
and I'm putting my infantry on the sides, ready to run up and take those objectives. I really like this aspect of this blind deployment. It's making it very interesting and making me have to think really tactically about how I deploy my stuff. It's very different than a normal game of 40k. Nick has placed two units of Krieg Guardsmen, two Hellhounds, a unit of Bulgren, as well as a unit of Kazrakin and his Armored Sentinel in his mandatory 25% plus reserve. All right, okay, Psycho, so now we reveal? We have a big reveal. I put everything over here. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just tell me where Materian is, please. Uh, I will in three seconds. Three, okay. two, one. He's right oh, there! He's right the oh, wow, you put everything on the line. <laughs> here comes the Death God. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> all righty, Nick, this is a big one. Who goes first? I don't uh, want to get shot by all your tanks you immediately. First? Yeah, kind of. I'd be okay with you going first. Okay, well. Because then you'd come to me and I could shoot you. So does we just not roll it? No, we roll it. I go oh, first. You're going first. I'm, I think I'm okay with that, but we'll find out. Morty's going to be in my face. <laughs> He's like, coming for you. Yes. All right. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Art W. Last month, we speed painted some Dark Angels and particularly enjoyed painting up the Primarch Lionel Johnson, but the reality is, in order to bring you, our fans, more varied content, we needed some help. This is where we've chosen to use Art W. In the coming months, they're sending us more painted armies. Hint, they go, wah! We were absolutely pleased with the last work they sent us, these incredible Imperial Knights. While we ourselves love to paint, we can't paint everything in time, so having Art W as a partner in these efforts has been incredible. If you are like us and have a vision for what you want to see on the tabletop, but don't necessarily have the time, consider Art W Studios. Their website allows you to get a quote through their online form, and you can also peruse a gallery of their work to get you inspired. Make sure to check out the link below and tell them Play On sent you. I have to respect the huge guns that Nick has brought to the table and not just give up Mortarian right away. Both players will tick up to five command points and Mortarian will give himself his rerolls. The Chaos Spawn will perform the mission specific action to claim that Titan tech for the Death Guard. Tycho's being very careful here with his movement. Nick has got a lot of guns, and that Warlord will block line of sight. However, his legs are only acting as dense cover, so it will be minus one to shoot through. So Tycho's being a little cagey with his movement. He's not quite committing yet. I was really hoping Mortarian would just come on play so I could shoot him to death. Now, keeping Mortarian behind is a little bit against my nature, but I think it's actually kind of with Mortarian's nature. Mortarian is not in any way a, you know, scream and leap, uh, type of commander. He has a lot of nuance. He's not Angron. He's got some strategy in him. All right, so I'm going to start the festivities with a Miasma of Pestilence. Prince is going to cast Miasma of Pestilence on this here Plague Burst Crawler because, well, he can see your field of, uh, of tanks there and he doesn't want to get completely schnackered. That'll make him minus one to be targeted. Uh, moving right along to the shooting phase. Drone number two is going to empty all of his guns into your... Unit of infantry. Yes. Spurtings of goodness. Six spurts. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> the Greater Blight Drone kills four with its flamer and two more with its cannon. That squad is down to four models remaining. Second Greater Blight Drone targets the same unit. That's a dead squad of guardsmen. Uh, I will fire my entire Plague Bruce Crawler into the field doors. Probably kill them. I'm, I'm hoping so. Entropy cannons. T4? Yep. Plus three. Only four damage. I'll move on to the mortar. Oh, you got the mortar itself. He's there. Oh, nothing. The slugger. And it wipes them out. Whew, that was a bit of luck. I have a whole Plague Burst Crawler that hasn't oh, done go. anything fun yet. Ah, uh, that Demolisher Cannon, he is nasty. So I'm just gonna pour everything into him. On a six. How much damage? Ooh, full six damage. Seven wounds remaining on the Demolisher Tank. Second Plague Burst Crawler working on the Demolisher Tank. Tycho's using Disgusting Force here for one command point. Takes him out of four remaining to splash some gooey, spewy nurgleness around, including wounding that command squad. My first turn goes actually really well, uh, doing some serious damage to uh, one of Nick's tanks and taking out an entire squad. He's got one secondary ongoing at current, sits at four command points to Nick's five, and then we head to Nick's turn one. 
All right, so my turn. Time to do as much damage as I can. This is probably my only chance before they just run up and hit my lines. Nick's spending one command point on Relentless, so his Demolisher Cannon and Lehman Russ will act at top bracket, and Grand Strategist Warlord Trait gets it back. He sits at six command points to Tycho's five. All right, well, I'm going to start by moving my tank. <gasps> Ordering Gunner's Kill on sight, that's going to give rerolls of ones to hit for all of his tanks. Company commander issues the order, move, move, move to that infantry squad so they can reach and claim an objective. Nick's really moving up close here in his movement phase. He knows he needs to score as much as he can, as quick as he can, and hope that Mortarian doesn't just come in and curb stomp him. Okay, my company command squad is just gonna hide back here. They're fine just sitting back here. There's really nothing else for them to do. They just kinda sit back here and get me command points. <laughs> Psychic phase, commander tank getting a five up and vulnerable save from the astropath. And then now, now it's time for the 20 billion gun salute. <laughs> let's hope you miss a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the Demolisher, because he's lots of fun, and he's gonna shoot straight into uh, this Plague Burst Crawler. Demolisher Cannon is D6 shots. I save two, miss one. Demolisher Lehman Russ leads this dance, and Tycho is debating rerolling a save, and he does so down to four command points, but no Demolisher damage at all. Nice. All right, time for one of my favorite guns in the Guard Codex, the Vanquisher Cannon. <laughs> it ignores the bones, it, yeah, it's only one shot, but if it gets through, it does a bucket of damage. The Vanquisher has drawn a bead upon my Plague Burst Crawler, and this is gonna hurt. Vanquisher misses, oof. <sighs> All right, so that, that is a miss. I only do have one in the one shot. It's risky. <laughs> but if anybody's watched me before, you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to command reroll out. I gotta get a five. Command reroll, here we go, succeed. Yes! So down to five command points, and the Plague Burst Crawler gets no save. That Plague Burst Crawler's down to one wound, and it's the only target for the Rogel Dorn. Yeah, I, I, I was right, that, that really hurt. 11 wounds after everything's said and done is a lot, especially on a Plague Burst Crawler. These, I rely on these things to be the anchor of my line, and he's nearly dead with one shot of one gun. My Rolodorn is the star of the Guard Codex, in my opinion. I'd love a billion of these. I'd love a whole army of these. They're so cool. They've got so many guns. It's like a mini Bane Blade. Twin Battle Cannon is shrugged. <laughs> he does exactly Dorn things, and uh, that's nothing. Dorny, you might be facing some summary execution here after that performance. Where's my Commissar? I'm so close. I don't have anything else that can shoot that thing, so I'm gonna have to move on. Lehman Russ with the battle cannon into the Greater Blight drone, strips four wounds off it, down to five remaining. I mean, I got close. I wanted better, but we'll see. Okay. Well, my Russes are kinda pooping a little here. <laughs> I think they did pretty well. I just managed to get lucky over that here a little bit. Tough. They are very tough. All right, well, I've got my plasma executioner over here. Yeah. So I might as well fire everything into the drone. All right. Um, so supercharging, because why oh, not? Because you always supercharge. Come on. Always be supercharged. <laughs> and you don't want to do one damage. Heavy D6 plus three shots. Ooh, yeah. Oh, threes. Uh -oh. Threes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Just one. Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on with my dice here? <laughs> DT, did he do something? <laughs> Oh. Steve! The stank of Nurgle. All right, you fail. I fail, I take two wounds. You take three damage. Uh, nope, two. Oh, minus one incoming damage? Three left. Guys, that was abysmal. That sucked. That was a terrible turn, I'm not gonna lie. Tycho's got a real opportunity to put this game deep in his pocket now. Will Nick even make it to get the reserves on turn three? Let's find out. Tycho turn two scores 10 points on primary for holding two objectives. Tycho has claimed one objective, as has Nick. Those will not score till the end of the game and will be important to the overall score here as both players need to score them. Turn two, this is me big. I'm in a great position to get on some objectives, possibly even get a charge or two in, make Nick pay for having to come out of his hidey hole. Plague Marines are performing the mission-specific action, claiming more Titan parts. That's a real important part of this custom mission, and it could swing the game huge.
Tycho has three Death Shroud Terminators in regular reserve to come in at the end of this movement phase, and I think he's gonna bring him in. There's really no reason to leave him off for another turn. Okay, that is the end of the movement phase. Moving on to the Psychic. Ooh, ooh, Le scariness. Psychic. Tycho's Psychic phase now. Nick attempts to deny that smite, and he fails. Not a chance. All right, deny, fails. Three. Three immortal wounds. Seven, uh, six, five, four. I'm down to four wounds on this Lehman Ross here. Uh, Mortarian will cast his Miasma of Pestilence on himself. Ooh. Command reroll, fails again, Tycho down to four command points, and then fails to smite. That's okay. Morty wants to do work up close and personal like anyway. All right. Uh, that's, I'm on to my shooting phase. Which is scary. Grenadier Blight Drone targeting that infantry squad with his cannon, and his flamer is going into the battle cannon, Russ. Uh, here comes the cannon into the infantry. Into the infantry. Two hits. A couple of guardsmen go down. Greater Blight Drone will just empty into that tank there. Cannon. Second Greater Drone, same tank. That Russ is down to 11 wounds. Let's go whole hog with my unwounded Plague Burst Crawler into that wounded Leon Russ. This one right here. Edge cannons. On a six. Oh, so close. How much damage? Uh, five. Five damage, all right. Um, I have six wounds remaining on this Lehman Russ. Tycho spends a command point on Disgusting Force, down to three. That makes that mortar do three damage each, and Nick is spending a command point to try and save the Russ. No! That's a command point reroll if I ever saw one. Down to five. I gotta save one. I gotta get this for him to be alive! No! Oh. It fails. Down to five command points as he does not farm it back from Grand Strategist. All right, I'll put the mortar at the infantry, everything else into your vanquisher. More How many shots? Three shots. Heading on sixes, two hit. <laughs> what is with your mortars? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Minus two. Oh, that just kills two guys. No joy on the entropy cannons though. Mortarian fires his lantern. That vanquisher takes three wounds. Demolisher shrugs it though. The emperor protects. Three damage, I'm down to 10 wounds remaining with the with the Vanquisher Cannon. Oh, I think they're all in still, just. Oh yeah, you're still in spurting range. Spurting you range. still spurt things. I'm hoping one guy survives here. Hey, not bad. I saved five of them on a five. Fair enough. Two dead. I can make your charge even further. So my Death Shroud Terminators are gonna charge your infantry unit. I need an 11. <laughs> Come on, Terminators. Six, seven, eight. Command point? Yeah, it's good, good use of a command point. Try to get a love it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Right. Greater Blight Drone into the Plasma Cushioner tank succeeds. Mortarian charges the Demolisher tank. Demon Prince doubles up with the Demolisher tank. He's in. Okay, that is La Charge Phase. Drone into the Plasma Cushioner, Russ. No real damage at all there, but it has tied it up and will make it a target instead of everything else in Tycho's army. All right, well, try to kill the Demolisher here. See, I might even let the Demon Prince do the honors because Mortarian would not sink himself so low as to just swipe aside this lowly Lehman Russ. Six attacks, he doesn't get to reroll nothing because Mortarian did not pat him on the head and he can't oh. pat himself on the head. Uh, he will get one more attack with his claw. Freeze. That on is correct. On fives. I got none of them. So, uh, 12 damage. So. He is dead. Ooh. Does he explode? Does he now? Ah! He Ooh. does not. Demon Prince downs the Demolisher tank. Nick using Vengeful Salute. Well, you know what? I'm gonna just target everything of that pl uh, Plague Burst Crawler. Okay. Because, because the turret weapon, it can fire out of combat. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna fire it and let's see if I can take it out. D6 shots. Die, you're going down! Wounded you once. Oh. Saving on a five. Do I command point reroll that? Oh, I bet you do. Uh, I know, Nick. I bet he does. Do you no. Want, Nick, do you want it dead or just a little dead? I want it dead. Uh, Rerolling. Down, down to the, three. Down to three. Do I get the command point back? No farming back from Grand Strategist, but that single wound Plague Burst Crawler is down. I mean, he killed something. Good job. Mortarian overruns into the Vanquisher and ties it up. All right, well, I actually get to hit you in close combat, surprisingly enough. Uh, and I hit you, done. These guys have to test morale. Let's see if they fail right here. Oh, morale phase. The Cadian infantry have failed, but the Commissar says nay nay, and they hold. 
I have managed to uh, get to where I need to go. Uh, this is really deep into Nick's lines. He's got a bunch of terrible decisions to make. Uh, if his dice go really, really well, he can throw me back from his line, but he's going to have to get lucky to make that happen. Tycho has completed two secondary objectives to sit on 30 points for that, and he has 10 on primary as we end Tycho's turn two. Nick scores five points on primary. So at the beginning of my turn two, I'm left with a couple difficult choices. So I can either choose to try to stay in combat and try to shoot a little bit into combat, or try to withdraw and shoot him with other things. I am not gonna back away with the Vanquisher. He's the only th thing that's done something this round. I trust in his leadership. You gotta trust your officers. Like, when you're giving orders, you just gotta trust that they'll take care of it. Vanquisher stays in combat, hoping beyond hope to kill Mortarion. I'm not sure if that's the right move. Shock and awe on the tanks. That's Nick's order. Gonna give objective secure to those tanks until the end of his next command phase. That should help him stop Tycho from scoring primary. You can smite things in co combat, can't oh, you? Oh, I certainly Oh, can. we're gonna smite you, that's what's gonna happen. You know what? My command squad mm. and my commissar are mm. gonna be heroes, and them, along with the Vanquisher cannon, are, my whole entire officer cadre um, is gonna come in and kill Mortarion. That's what's so gonna happen. So you're gonna move up and charge him? <laughs> yeah, gonna move up and charge him, of course. It's gonna happen. I love it, I love it a lot. Let's do it. And he's gonna sneak through here to touch the, to touch the minus one terrain. You might do a little bit of split firing there. I'm gonna stay in combat with the Plasma Executioner because I wanna shoot. In the Psychic phase, I'm gonna choose to smite instead of get the five up invulnerable save. I'm hoping that I can get a couple wounds off and just enough wounds that the Vanquisher can finish him off. Smite! Oh! Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not a super sight. Almost. I'll dispel. Try to dispel it? No. No, you don't. You take Mortarion, take that! You take three mortal wounds! Three mortal wounds to Mortarion and he takes them all! So, shooting phase. Let's see if I can kill you. Okay. First thing that's gonna happen is the Vanquisher cannon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna fire straight into Mortarion and his heavy bolter and his Lyle's cannon. Ah! Oof, that's not good. No rerolls allowed, Nick. All right, well I failed and Mortarion does not let me reroll. That sucks. Two heavy bolters. Uh, that's a miss. Two uh, damage. Two damage, ignoring on fives. Ignoring, all right, so one wound goes through, goes down to 14, and then a last cannon. Last cannon, hits! Wounds! He's okay. Arr, I think I mis, uh, misallocated this. All right, so the Robo's one is gonna fire everything into the Demon Prince. Uh -oh. Let's do this. Twin battle cannon. Ooh, ooh, it's only four hits. Nick, re-rolling a number of shots for a command point. So, 2d6, it's a little bit better. We've got six instead of four. Heading on threes. Oh no! Ooh. Demon Prince survives at two wounds left. Oh come on, man! You gotta stop doing this to me. Two wounds left. You gotta Nick. stop doing this to me. <laughs> All right, and then we'll shoot into combat with this Lehman Russ. Heavy bolter at him. He's gonna shoot heavy bolter into the plague drone, and the plasma executioner is gonna shoot into the other plague drone. Three shots with heavy bolter. No hits with heavy bolter, and then the plasma cannon. Plasma over. Oh yeah, always. Uh, oh yeah, full shots, there we go. <laughs> Strength eight, wounding on threes. I save two, take Gotta one. Stop doing that, uh, it's three damage. Three damage, seven wounds remain. Well, okay, well that's the shooting phase done. Let's uh, charge everything into Mortarion. I'm gonna charge with the Commissar and the Company Commander. They're not long for this world anyways, and if I can get a couple of wounds off Mortarion, that would be perfect. Charge face now, the Cadians are ready to die on Mortarion's blade, it looks like. The Rogaldorn charges down the two wound demon prince. Nick chooses the Dorn to fight first and has no joy at all into that demon prince. Yeah, okay. so that was a waste of a command point and time and that uh, sucks. <laughs> all right, other charging model. Let's see if the Commissar with his power sword can take you out. All right. <laughs> Minus three. All right. Power two. <laughs> The Commissar manages to take two wounds up Mortarion. The platoon commander has also wounded Mortarion. And winner dude! As does the squad! <laughs> it's a one! Mortarion is down to 10 wounds from all this, all these infantry just hacking at his legs. I love it, it's perfect. It's all I could ask for them. And now they will die gloriously for the Emperor. Now it goes to ongoing combats. You get to choose the first one. Good job, guys! So, uh, I am gonna attack my drone first. Greater Blight Drone smacks Nick's Plasma Q shooter to again no effect. The Vanquisher, uh, the Battle Tank is gonna try to <laughs> whack, whack Mortarion with his uh, his tracks. Six attacks, 
I hit you once, and I do not wound. Prince attacking back. Got it. All hit. Right, two wound demon prince. Uh, wounding on fours, I believe. On fives! I saved one of them. Three go through. And Nick takes nine damage. Five wounds remaining on the Rogaldorn. Woo! Plasma Cutioner now into the Plague Drone. And again, no joy. Bit of a slap fight in that corner. Mortari now splits his attacks up. Five into the tank, one into the Pesky Commissar, and three sweep attacks into the squad. Five attacks. Hitting your Bring tank on, on twos, re-rolling ones. Um, he's probably dead. Um, on sixes! Hey, I got one! So there's four that goes through. Can you do 13 damage? Yes. <laughs> does he explode? He does not. So I'm gonna spend one command point on Vengeful Salute and fire at you right now. So on fives. I needed it, I needed to hit. Cause I could take down Mortarion right here, right now if I could do it. Give it to me! Ugh. I'm gonna spend a command point. Oh, I can't reroll! Frick! <laughs> it would have been, been pretty amazing for Mortarion cool. down there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna change the game completely. Yep. You're trying uh -huh. to kill the Commissar? Hello, Commissar. I hit. I wound. Commissar has a refractor field of five up. Can I do it? Nope. Commissar is utterly pasted. The Commissar is dead. In the command squad. Twos. Ooh, but the claws and teeth for Mortarion's attendants kill all but the company commander. He's still holding the line and he's gonna die in the next phase, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, morale test. This yes. company commander needs to see if he runs away. Indeed. He's quite scared of Mortarian, but we'll find out if he's brave enough. And he stands tall in the morale phase. That's ridiculous. It's awesome. It's what are you ridiculous. talking about? It's awesome. And you know what? The next turn he's gonna do another two wounds to you. Don't think Nick's dice went the way he really, really wanted them to. Uh, I really have not lost a ton here. It's just that poor old wounded Plague Burst Crawler that's gone down. I've got like 500 points that are about to come on. And if I can get them to come on the left side of the board, I potentially can clean up that entire board, take objectives and take back and rest back control of this game for the Emperor. And at turn two, Tycho sits at 10 primary, Nick sits at five. Tycho has completed two mission specific secondaries for 30 points at end of game. And Nick has completed one for 15 at the end of the game. Into Tycho's turn three now, 15 points on primary to take our score up to 25 to five. I've got to try and finish off some of these wounded tanks uh, and solidify my spot on all these beautiful objectives and take home the points for mama, papa, grandpappy Nurgle. Can you wipe me off the board this turn? Now this, this turn's very interesting. We have two zones over here that reinforcements are gonna come on. Like, more than 500 points of our army have been left off the table. We don't know which side they're going to come on, and it's really going to change the game where they come on. So how does this work? They are coming on at the beginning of the turn? Beginning... At the beginning of each of our turns, they just appear, and then we can use them as normal, as okay. if they were deployed there. It's kind of like the fog of war has lifted, and uh, the reinforcements are like, whoa, oh, here's a battle. All right. So we're, you're going to roll for what side you deploy your reinforcements on. All right. One, two, three is over here. Four, five, six is over here. Let's see where I come in. Oh, so you're coming in the right missiles. here. All right, okay. this is good, this is good. Okay. It's gonna give me solidify my stranglehold. Here comes Tycho's mandatory turn three reserves. All right, so Cuffs the Lawnmower from Joel S. Uh, is, is joined the fray, as well as Smokey, and as well as Greater Blight Drone number three, and Plague Burst Crawler number three. Yep, that is a scary group of individuals over there. Plague Marines doing the mission specific action on that awkwardly placed objective on the Warlord. So you kind of know where I'm coming. All my reinforcements, you're just kind of like prepping to get ready to charge me here. Well, I, 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 I gotta know where you're at, so yeah, a little bit. On to the magic phase. I don't like Mr. it. Mr. Prince. You gonna smite me? Oh, he's gonna smite you good. Demon Prince smites the Rogaldorn tank for one mortal wound. Mortarion. We'll put on his Miasma of Pestilence. He'll get a little, little, little toot. Little toot goes at a nine. So he's minus one to hit now. Yep. And then he'll go for a schmite on uh, your poor little captain <laughs> guy there. Schmite him down! 
Mortarian rerolls his smite down to four command points and kills that company commander. So I'm gonna move on to the shooting phase. Entropy cannons coming your way. Let's start with the back one. Let's just do everything into your uh, big old tank right there. Entropy cannons. Huah! No, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, it's six and four, 10. 10 damage, I have three wounds left. <laughs> that was quick. Here comes the mortar. Uh, I saved the mortar shot though. Okay. Um, take, same thing. All right, this tank with entropy cannons into here as well. That plasma cutioner is just getting pounded. Uh, that he did. is 10 more damage. Now does he explode? He does not. Vengeful salute time is down it goes. Nick farms back his command point again, but it does nothing. Ooh. So far, Vengeful Salute's been a ginormous waste of command points. Ginormous <laughs> waste of command points. It has done absolutely nothing. Nothing left to shoot at, so it's time for the charge phase. Death's Rod charge the infantry squad. I think they are in trouble. Mortarian charges the Rogaldorn. Mortarian smacks the heck out of the Rogaldorn. If it explodes, it could be absolutely devastating. Ah, oh, it's a five! Vengeful Salute again. Nick's favorite stratagem. He's down to two command points left. One more command point to reroll the number of shots, and he kills three plague marines. The door is down, though. The Rogel door is down. So on the board left, I have three infantry who have charged with Death Shroud Terminators. Who've been charged by Death Shroud Terminators. You want me to roll? <laughs> That's what I want you to roll. No. Are you sure? <laughs> no. I don't like bother. rolling dice. Yeah, I don't. Don't bother. I still have. Secure that objective. Because I haven't done any. You uh, have to do a. You have to do a secure action on, on it, it to unsecure it. That's right. Yes. At the, oh, I have to. I guess I have to pass, pass a leadership test. I guess. I guess technically three, six, oh, seven, eight, nine. Can you fail on a nine? I think so. Hey! I rolled a six. You actually failed. We're out. One runs away, and the other one actually could on a one or two. Oh, he, he runs. runs away! Oh, my whole unit of big greens runs <laughs> away. <laughs> Go, Rogaldor, you did something. Tycho fails morale on the Plague Marines and the last model runs. That means he can't complete the action. Nick is absolutely still in this. Yeah, Nick, I'm actually a little worried about Nick's reinforcements. It's a big pile of stuff and it can do basically everything. No primary points for Nick, 25 to five, but he can still complete actions and still stay in the game. All right, so things look dire. I've got no units left on the board. However, my reinforcements are gonna come in right now. Nick's reinforcements are in. Can he thin this side of the board enough to take over the game? He's got a snowball's chance, folks, but hey, we're all Canadian. The guard don't go down without a fight. They go down swinging. Moving phase, I'm going to move as fast as possible to try to take, take back this board. Nick moving up to get the most shots as possible. Those chem cannons can absolutely down Mortarian. Poison cares not about your toughness. <sighs> all right, let's see if I can pull off some, some heroically amazing deeds, because otherwise I'm out of this game. <laughs> it's do or die time. Shooting phase. Ooh. I'm gonna do chem cannons into Mortarion. I hit automatically, I wound on a two. That's right. Saving on fours. Ooh, one gets through. <laughs> this two damage, which unfortunately goes down to two. I'll do it down to one. And I ignore on a five. You gotta stop doing that to me. Sorry, time. Nick. Three heavy bolter shots. I take it. Down to nine wounds remaining on Mortarion. The next Kim Cannon, hopefully does a little better. Wounding on twos, minus three. Oh, save three, take one. Not ignored, down to eight. <laughs> Can you do a little worse? Just a little worse. Um, we're gonna do the Caster Kin, and I'm Ooh. actually gonna spend two command points right here. Last two command points for Nick, overcharge last cells and ingrained precision. He needs to bring down those Terminators. So they're in rapid fire range. They're all gonna fire into these Terminators. Maybe I can do it. 18 shots, fives and sixes are mortal wounds. And then hits. And he does. Oh, you know oh he's dead. I killed him. Whew. All right, Sentinel. Um, it's gonna shoot Mortarion. Heavy D3 shots. Shooting Mortarion. I wounded you once. Ooh, I take it. It does two damage. That goes down to one. Uh, ignore the five. And he tanks it again. Well, that was fun. The Bulgrim are gonna kill the Demon Prince. Each guy, fives. You need to make, make two of them. Oh, well, one went through. I did one damage, you're down to one wound. One wound. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Well, Tycho, I did some things. You, you, you got back the objective I over took here. three objectives. You did. 
and I... Three? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just to be clear, Evan, I'm having fun. Just so, just so you know. I'm, I, am, I am having fun. I'm not discouraged. Oh, uh, well, maybe a little bit, but... <laughs> Terminators go bye-bye. Mortarian's still on the board. The Demon Prince is still on the board. Don't think I did enough. End of next turn three, still sees a score of 25 to five, has not completed an extra action. Tycho's turn four could potentially put this game away if Nick keeps rolling saves the way he's rolling. All right, well, I seem to have Nick on the back foot, or I mean, no foot at all. 10 points on primary takes Tycho up to 35 primary. I am uh, in a great spot to take away all of the models that he has. <laughs> I told you this is my objective. I still haven't done an action on it, so technically it's mine. It's all over but the crying, I think. Tycho can really put Nick away here, and Prince Barricade the Demon Prince and Cuffs the Lawnmower are in an absolutely commanding position. Correct, sir, correct. Uh, that is it for the movements. I'm going to do some psychicking. Zapping of some Bulgrins with my print. <laughs> he does a wound. All right, I'll take that. That's hey. fine. Morty Miasma pestilences himself successfully. Uh, that's it for the psychic phase. Mortarian will take his lantern and fire at a hellhound so that he goes through your um, sentinel. Tycho shooting phase. Hellhound goes down to nine wounds and the sentinel to four. That OG beam weapon from Mortarian, the lantern, does some work. Now Ooh. it's going to be a whole bunch of spurtings from all these guys. Yep. Yeah. Cannon into the Sentinel downs it and spurts into the Hellhound, managed to take it to eight wounds. Plague Burst Crawler using Disgusting Force out of five command points into the unwounded Hellhound. Let's start this. Oh, six shot. On fives. I saved none of them. How much damage do you do? <laughs> Three apiece. Three apiece. Well, you've killed it. I don't even get to fire my entropy cannons. Nope. No entropy cannons for you. No entropy cannons for you. All right, me. charge me. Let me overwatch and maybe kill Mortarian. All right. Charging of the Poxwalkers. Poxwalkers charge the infantry, but they fail. Well, Mortarian is going to charge the uh, both your tank and the Kassarkin. Okay. A five. I think I missed because of the Kassarkin. Rerolling his charge for a command point takes him down to four. He's in. <laughs> there you go. There we are. There you go. The Demon Prince is in. Demon Prince of Goodness. All right, so Demon Prince into the Bulgin right here. Mr. Barricade. Can he take down three Bulgrin? One of them has taken a wound. Thanks. We're close. Three, four, five. On fives. I got one, three go through. The Bulgrin have lost two of their number, but one of them is still up. And maybe I can kill you off that objective with the Bulgrin. Maybe. But first, let's go with Mortarion. Mortarion. See if he can kill both those squads. Now, I am all mucked up now. Three attacks into your tank, and then two attacks into your Kassarkin. <laughs> Three sixes? Nice. That just goes right through. So that's six and ten. Sixteen. All right, does he explode? On a five! He explodes! At least Mortarian allow me to die with dignity with an explosion! If you're gonna lose the game, at least go out with a fiery explosion. <laughs> Today is going to be a chaos victory. The Astra Militarum don't seem to have much left and that's it, they've called it. Make it your final, 75 to 35 in favor of this episode's winner and Titan Reclaimer, Tycho and his Death Guard. Thank you gentlemen for an amazing game and thank you Evan Snyder for your fantastic idea and continued support of our channel. We quite literally can't do this without support from our patrons like you. Speaking of, if you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. And a big thank you to all of you for watching. From all of us here at the Play On Studio, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on. <coughs> thank you so much, Nick. You played a great game here and your dice betrayed you. Although it snowballed to be a very one-sided game, it was still a ton of fun. You can still have fun playing 40K even if you're losing. Oh. Tycho, for services rendered. 
The victory dice are yours. Ah, oh, yeah, the victory dice, the victory dice, the victory dice. <laughs>